example, I got a user here who wants to access the remote device either using a telnet or SSH. Now I want to make sure that this user must be authenticated by using some AAA, AAA method. Now if you want to authenticate this user, I can either use locally where I can create a username and the password on my local device. It can be a router, switch, it can be any device stored locally. So the user accounts are stored locally and the authentication is done by using the local database. But practically this is not a scalable solution because if you have hundreds of devices, probably it's not an easy to it's not an easy job for the administrator to create all the users inside the inside the local device. So or we can also use external authentication servers like we did like we discussed about some ACS servers in the previous videos. ACS can be used where we are going to store all the username and the passwords and whenever you try to establish a connection to this device it's going to send out the user credentials to the ACS server to verify the username and the password and if it sends a positive reply if the username and the password matches the database the user will be allowed to access the remote device. So mostly in the production network we, we will be using both the methods for redundancy purpose where we can configure the primary method it has to use uh, something like TACAX protocol by using some ACS server and due to some reason if it fails I can configure a local as a backup option. So we, can, we will be using multiple uh, authentication methods as for redundancy purpose it is recommended. Now the AAA authentication can be done for two different, two different purposes like for either for the login authentication where the user is trying to enter gain access to this device and before he actually see any mode he will be prompted for username and the password and once the user provides the correct username and the password he will be allowed to log in of course he, we can also assign some privilege levels that, that something we'll see in the authorization so before he actually see any command he, he must get authenticated so we can also enable authentication for enable like once the user logs in he will be typing some enable password just like enable password or enable secret password and he must enter the enable password before he actually allowed to move to the next mode that is to the privilege mode and other modes.